Welcome to a new year of Greeley Water Wise. I'm Sean Chambers, Director of Water and Sewer Utilities for the City of Greeley. And in 2022, we're going to go further and explore the whys, the whats, and the hows behind your city's municipal water and wastewater systems. In this episode, we're going to explore the what's going on with construction out of the Greeley Wastewater Treatment and Water Reclamation Facility. Question one. What's going on with the construction at the Wastewater Treatment and Reclamation Facility? The wastewater plant is currently under construction to complete upgrades to the treatment process for nitrogen and phosphorus removal as required by state regulations. The project includes the construction of two new basins, modification to existing basins and equipment, and the addition of a new electrical building to meet the needs of the new treatment process. The project is anticipated to be completed in fall of 2023. Question two, why is this construction work necessary and how will it position Greeley in the future? This construction is necessary to meet new nutrient regulations being implemented now through 2027. These regulations were established to address nutrient pollution that contributes to eutrophication in both fresh and salt water throughout the United States. Eutrophication is the process through which excessive nutrients catalyze the growth of algae in marine environments. The algae then consumes most of the available oxygen in the water as it decomposes, starving all other organisms of the oxygen necessary to sustain life. The most notable occurrence of this phenomenon is the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico, but nutrients are also a contributing factor allowing the growth of dangerous blue-green algae that has periodically closed some of our own waters here in northern Colorado, such as Windsor Lake. The first regulation to address nutrients is known as Regulation 85 and establishes lower phosphorus and nitrogen dis discharge limits. These limits have not yet been applied to Greeley's discharge permit, but our early compliance with the limits now will provide us with credits that will give us more time to comply with the much more stringent limits to be applied in 2027 and known as Regulation 31. We have already earned an extension of more than a year through our existing efforts, and these improvements will allow us to accumulate much more time for compliance with Regulation 31 while providing significant water quality improvements immediately. The time that we are earning will allow the technology to mature and become more affordable, which will ultimately result in cost savings for the citizens of Greeley in the future. In addition, we are evaluating the condition of our existing assets to determine whether repairs are needed to prevent future treatment issues or failures. The best example of this is removing all of our aeration basins from service for inspection and modification. Most of these aeration basins have been in continuous service since the 1980s. The modifications that we are making to the basins will allow us to remove them from service, inspect, and repair on a much more frequent basis. Question three, isn't this construction one of the reasons wastewater rates went up this year? While the major investments we're making in our wastewater treatment system are critical to maintaining long range wastewater utility compliance and permit compliance, there's unfortunately no source of state or federal money available to the city to finance those improvements. And so the city must pass on the costs of regulatory compliance to its customers. Residential customers can expect to see about $4.20 per month increases to their wastewater bill. And those increases go directly to pay for the upgrades to the treatment plant, assuring us we can maintain long range compliance and also assuring our citizens of a safe and livable community and environmental stewardship of our natural resources. And so I hope you understand the purpose and the need for the increase to the sewer utility bill. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Greeley Water Wise.